Steve the Superhero and the Case of the Stolen Sleep. In the peaceful town of Dreamville, all the children used to fall asleep easily every night, floating into their dreams with smiles on their faces. But one night, something strange happened. No one could sleep. Children tossed and turned in their beds, yawning but wide awake. The townspeople were puzzled. Where did the sleep go? They asked each other. That's when they called for Steve, the famous superhero known for his strength, smarts, and a big heart. Steve arrived at the scene quickly, wearing his bright blue cape that shimmered like the night sky. I've heard about the mystery, Steve said as he landed. It seems someone has stolen all the sleep. As Steve investigated, he noticed a trail of glittering dust leading out of the town and into the dark forest. With his trusty flashlight in hand, Steve followed the trail. After a long walk, he found the culprit, John the Thief. John wasn't like most thieves. He didn't steal things like gold or treasure. No, John had a mischievous habit of stealing unusual things, and this time he had stolen everyone's sleep. John, why did you steal the sleep of Dreamville? Steve asked, crossing his arms but smiling kindly. John sighed. Well, I get so lonely at night when everyone else is asleep. I just wanted someone to stay awake and keep me company. I didn't mean to cause trouble. Steve thought for a moment and then said, John, I understand that you feel lonely, but taking away sleep isn't the answer. People need their rest to feel good and dream wonderful dreams. But I have an idea. What if we set up a midnight story hour? You can come read stories to the night owls and keep them company. That way you won't feel so lonely and no one has to lose their sleep. John's eyes lit up. Really? You think people would come? Absolutely, Steve replied. Everyone loves a good story, and this way you'll never be alone at night again. John agreed, and with a wave of Steve's hand, the stolen sleep was returned to Dreamville. The children yawned and stretched, finally feeling sleepy as they snuggled into bed, ready for sweet dreams once more. That night, Steve helped John host the first-ever midnight story hour. And from that day on, whenever John felt lonely, he knew there was a whole community of friends who were there to share stories with him. As Steve flew off into the sky, he waved goodbye, knowing that Dreamville was peaceful once again, and that John had learned an important lesson about friendship.